If you like intelligence games and mind-boosting problems, you're in the right place because you'll boost your logic and memory skills and have fun at the same time. Let's start with our first mathematical question. Be careful. In this math riddle, you should find out what will be in the question mark. Your 20 second response time starts now. Okay, first of all, let's study it. Look at the numerical values of the square and the circle. When we divide the square into the circle, we should obtain two. Also, when we multiply the square by the circle, we should obtain two. So, the square is two and the circle is one. When we subtract the circle from the square, we will obtain one. The right answer is B. To solve these kinds of math riddles more quickly, you can try Mental Up's learning exercises, which include mathematical puzzles and games. They'll help boost your mental abilities. The link is in the description below. There are lots of brain teasers in it you can enjoy by developing at the same time. Get started now. Now we'll continue with a fun math riddle. In this brain teaser, we see an equation with math sticks. You should move two math sticks and make the equation correct. To do this right, you can use paper and a pen. Subtracting 9 from 9 equals 0. 9 minus 9 equals 0 is the correct answer. Let us explain. If you move the one matchstick in the addition sign and put it into 3 by making it 9, you will have one move. You should move the middle matchstick in 8 to put it into the other 3. So we'll have a perfect equation. The right answer is C. Let's solve our third math riddle. Don't answer it without thinking. In this question, we have a successful merchant who needs help. He can place eight large boxes or 10 small boxes into a carton for shipping. In one shipment, he sent a total of 96 boxes. If there are more large boxes than small ones, how many cartons will he ship? When we look at the numbers of the large boxes, we see that there should be seven of them. Because when we multiply seven by eight, we obtain 56. Now we should count the small boxes and get 40. To do this, let's multiply four by 10 boxes. In this case, there should be 11 cartons in total. The right answer is D. This time we have a different kind of question for you. To solve this one, you should use the number eight to get 1,000 in total. Find how many eights you need to use, but you can only use addition. We'll explain it to you, but first, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to the channel for solving more boosting and entertaining math riddles. When we look at our question, we could be confused because the number given has too low a value to obtain a thousand in total. However, using logic, we can see that it isn't impossible. Let's start to calculate. When we make the addition operation of 888 plus 88 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8, we get 1000. To do this, we use eight pieces of eight. The right answer is B. Now we'll solve another question that has the same concept. Here we see four pieces of cubes. There are different numbers on them and you should find out which number will be put into the question mark.
Before we get going on the calculation process, let's think a little bit more about the numbers that are on the cubes. They have an exact order. To understand this order, you can try a variety of mathematical operations. For example, we should make an addition operation with all the numbers on our first cube to get 19. Let's look at the second cube. The same addition needs to be made to obtain 11. If we do another addition operation with the numbers on the third cube, we will have the value that goes into the question mark. So, the question mark should be 9. The right answer is C. Let's continue with another, more complicated question. To solve this one, we should learn which glass will be filled first. Clock is ticking. When we look at the working principle here, we see that 5, 6, and 7 have a blocked connection. Since the connection to 3 is lower than that of 2, it will fill first while the remaining glasses will remain empty. The right answer is B. We have a different kind of riddle now. There are four squares that have numerical values on both the outside and the inside you should find out the number that will be put into the question mark. The first thing to do is calculate the exact operation for solving the numbers inside the squares. To start with, we need to add the first number into the second number clockwise. We will also add the third number into the fourth number. Now, we should subtract our second value from the first value. In the end, we get 19. You implement this same operation to solve the number for our other squares. Therefore, the question mark needs to be 15 by using the operation 9 plus 16 minus 6 plus 4. The right answer is B. In this riddle, you should imagine yourself as a racer who joins an important competition. You're running a race with three other people. You overtake the second last person. Let's find out what position you're in. Probably you acted fast and answered it quickly. If your reply is the second position, you just got trapped in this brain teaser's trick, just like many. Whoops, the right answer isn't the second position. Let's explain. You are running a race with three other persons, which means the total number of people running in this race is four, and you pass the second last person, namely the third. Now you are in the third position, so the right answer is C. In this question, we have several numbers to deal with. Our job is to understand their orders. You need to find out what to put into the question mark. You can try to use a pen and paper. Your 20 second time starts. First, let's think about the order of these numbers. But remember something important. The second digit is insignificant for the result. To get the right answer, do this operation. First digit times first digit, and third digit times third digit. When you combine the numbers, you will have these values. Let's check out together. 398 equals 964. 3 times 3, and 8 times 8. 118 equals 164. 1 times 1, and 8 times 8. 356 equals 936, 3 times 3, and 6 times 6. 423 equals 169. 4 times 4, 
and three times three. So the right answer is D. To solve this riddle, you should find out how you can make the equation correct by drawing only one straight line into the right spot. Can you tell us where we need to draw this line? Your time is running out. Stay focused. Now let's find out the real answer. The equation's answer should be 550. Let's draw a line on the first plus sign. This turns it into a four. So the equation will become correct as 545 plus five equals 550. The right answer is A. That's all for today. If you've any questions, write in the comments below and let us explain. Also, don't forget to download Mental Up for more math riddles that will improve your skills. Start to do our daily exercises now. The more you practice, the more you'll speed up. And feel free to go to the link in the description. See you next time.